Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here, once again with Hockey 6. Hey. And there is Farin with us. But before I start talking for her, um, in the last episode, we had just completed the Ancient Cistern and cleansed our sword to make it the brand new Goddess Longsword. In this episode, we are going to be returning to Skyloft, see what we can do, get some Goddess Cube treasure chests, and get the newest song that we need to get. You're noticing a pattern at this point, I assume. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Ah, the sword you carry is different since the last I saw you. Yes, I see. It is much improved. To think the goddess's chosen hero is but a mere boy. Quite a twist. Could kick your butt. Chosen hero or not, you do not yet possess the strength required to wield the full power of that blade. You must train yourself further. Devote yourself wholly to this task. Excuse me. Farewell, boy. Huh. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can uh, hear this in the background, but uh, my niece is here today. Um, so you may or may not hear some background noise. I'm not entirely sure. I did tell them I was filming, so it shouldn't be too loud, but, you know. Possibility that they might interfere. But anyway, now that that has been done, we have taken care of everything here at the moment. So let's take off toward the skies. See you guys in Skyloft. Alright guys, and we're in Skyloft. Uh, I think what we're going to do first, before we do any of the side quests available right now, is we're going to collect the goddess cubes that are in Skyloft that we can get. You'll notice, of course, there's the one we couldn't get, and now that we have the Water Dragon skill, we can get it. But first, remember... Oh, whoop. I'm not going to mark that one just yet for a reason I'll tell you guys later. But anyway, you guys remember that like island that had a goddess cube on it, right? Well, now it's active, so... Oh no, I missed it! <sighs> great. Just great. Now i got to fly back into Skyloft, try this again. <sighs> Damn it, Kevin! Really? Yes, really. No, no. No, no, yes, yes. Unfortunately for us, we cannot just jump off our bird onto that outcropping. We need to go to the bazaar every time. Run back and try to smash ourselves onto the island. Why do I get the bad feeling that that's going to end horribly? And it didn't! Yay! All right. And there we go. You could just smack face first into the uh, island, but I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, in this treasure chest, if I remember correctly, it's 100 rupees? Yes! I did remember. I did my practice round yesterday, so I may be off in guessing what's in uh, the treasure chests. Okay. But I remember what's in the next one we're going for. Hooray! Now... Nah, eh, screw the butterflies. Oh, hey, there's Fledge. Hey there, Yurameshi. Thanks again for that stamina potion. Since you gave it to me, I've been doing push-ups like a machine. You'll see, I'll be as tough as you in no time. Is that what he said last time? I don't think so. Oh, well... Then that doesn't change, however, that quest is now in its next portion, so don't be misled. Now that we have the dragon's, uh, a water dragon scale, we can swim, as you well know, but turn over here, and there's this little cave. Under that shed where the goddess cube's in. I think you can see where I'm going from here. Yep, and now... Ow. First, let me remove this from the map. And that one, because we already obtained it. Actually, no, that's the, uh, that's the next one. Oh, so I accidentally didn't mark the, oh, well. Uh, in this one there, this regular treasure chest, there will be another 100 rupees. 
And in here, the next Goddess Cube treasure chest is a heart piece. I remembered it. I'm so happy. And I bet you're wondering about this uh, pile of hay. Can we use the guest bellows on it? And if something happened, nothing will happen. It's just kind of there. Also, I don't think this door opens, so you're going to have to swim back out the way you came. Which, honestly, I think is a huge letdown. I mean, from what you know of the Gus Bellows, you can use it to blow stuff away. Why wouldn't they make the hay something you could blow away? Oh god, I'm rhyming. No, I was. Hay, away, I'm rhyming. Anyway, on to the next cube before we start our little uh, side quest adventures. This one, however, we will not be able to obtain right now because we lack a certain item that we will need. However, lucky for us, we'll be getting that in the next area. But you'll notice the beacon right out there. Well, how do we get there? See those vines up there? Somehow we're going to have to grab onto them and then jump over to that island. I'm guessing your uh, can't, uh, make you fly there. Nope. That's something they did with... This I do not like. You can't just fly over things and land exactly where they are. You need to go through the cut scene and everything. Which stinks. Well, now that that's been done, I think it's time for us to go into the uh, bazaar to get that stamina potion we'll need for the next part of uh, Fledge's quest. Hey, As you want to buy off of the Um... No, but I'm close to having the amount I need to buy that heart piece that he has. However, I'm going to upgrade something while I'm in here. How much is, how much is the cost? Uh, uh, 1,600 for the heart piece. Yeah. He is a rip-off artist, apparently. I'll start with uh, the scrap shop, so I can show you guys exactly what you need to... Well, you can upgrade right now. I honestly think I can upgrade everything except the bomb bag right now. Oh wait, no, I can't upgrade my shield either, because I remember it. Yeah, I need... So I need six ornamental skulls if I want to upgrade the sacred shield, and I want to upgrade my bomb bag, which I do. You can either upgrade... Actually, no, I can upgrade this regardless. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. You can upgrade your slingshot to the scattershot. I'm not going to do that, because after I upgrade the beetle to speed... Go for it, dude. I think I can almost upgrade it a second time into its second form that'll boost its stamina. Meaning, obviously, you'll be able to fly longer. Well, yeah, that too. But right now, we have upgraded the Hook Beetle to the Quick Beetle. The Quick Beetle, when you press A after launching it, you can give it a boost of speed in the air. Which is good, because you'll be able to travel farther. Now to boost it the second time, we're going to need another ancient flower. Unfortunately, I I can't do that. Well, we're already going to the laundry uh, root desert, so you can't get one more. Well, they didn't know that, Hawkeye 6. But I guess now these are in it. Yes, the... Oddly enough, instead of going back to the Elden region and doing this in order again, they decided to mix it up by having it go Farin, Lane, Root, Elden. Now... See, I'm debating this one. I could upgrade my slingshot to the scatter shot right now, but that would require both my dusk relics, and I wouldn't be able to upgrade my uh, sacred shield at all. So I think we're just going to leave it like it is now. If you want to upgrade your slingshot to the scatter shot, you can do that, but I feel like saving my dusk relics. Because, again, they are very rare and hard to obtain. Yeah, since that's the only location. There's also, I told you guys about the Moonlight Merchant. He does sell Dusk Relics for 100 rupees, but I've never found him, so... Uh, and Love has a new potion available. The Air Potion is now available, meaning all the potions at the potion shop can now be bought. Hooray! That's all the potions Yep. Now every potion is available. But we just need this Stamina Potion right now. Give me, a uh, give me my stamina potion. Hooray! Okay. Now, stop staring at me, Sparrow. Anywho, 
you'll, uh, I'll tell you guys right now, there aren't many side quests for us to do right now, unlike in Side Quest of Palooza, where there was a lot of side quests. Unfortunately, this time when we go to, uh, well, now that we're at Skyloft, there's really no side quests here that will grant you gratitude crystals yet, but you can continue off of the, uh, side quests you've already done, like you can give Fledge the second, uh, stamina potion, um, you can talk to Beatrice again to, uh, hurry up the process of, uh, you know, that side quest, which is almost at its, uh, point of getting the gratitude crystals. And then there's, of course, at the Lumpy Pumpkin, the, uh, another side quest we can do, which I'll show you. And we have a golden bubble over, uh, Fledge, meaning he's good. 55! 56! 57! Hey, my lucky number, 57. Huh. Well, you see, he's improved dramatically since the last time. Since the last time we were here, he's only do 5, 6, 7. Oh, whew. I'm sweating up a storm. Good evening, Yurameshi. I've been training hard ever since we last spoke, but I feel so sluggish. Maybe I've just run out of energy. Oh, Hiramishi, is that... Is that a stamina potion you're carrying? Would you mind if I had some? Take some. But only some. Give us the rest back. Really well, thanks. I'm glad I... Uh, I'll gladly take it then. Like I said, give us the... Oh, I... Greedy, greedy fledged drink at all. He said some, not all. Ooh, that's the stuff. It's like a refreshing splash of energy. Sorry about that voice crack. I don't know where that came from. Sometimes I worry, though. All this training and no results. How long do I need to train before I start to get stronger? What do you think, Yurameshi? How many push-ups do you think I need to get strong? About a thousand, or it's not about numbers? I don't think it's about numbers. It's not about numbers. Of course! You mean... I should keep at it until I've forgotten how many I've done, right? Exactly. You should forget how many you've done. Work yourself out to the point where you're like, where the hell am I? What's going on? I guess that makes sense. Now that I know that, I'll definitely start getting stronger. Come back soon so you can see how I'm doing. Now, like last time, it will not be available for us the next part of this side quest as soon as we come back in the next night. You'll just have to go to another temple, finish it, and come back. But since this is our side quests, chests, and... Uh, well, actually, yeah, just side quests and chests, I guess we'll call these episodes. Uh, we're not going to be doing that in this episode, going to the next temple entirely. At least not yet. That's for next episode. Or the episode after next, depending how long this is. So, as I do want to ask, uh, since we only got the, um, uh, the, uh, the, the goddess cube uh, chest, uh, only in Skyloft, what about out of Skyloft? There's actually two outside of Skyloft, and you, uh, no, we'll get that one later. There's actually one in Thunderhead, but since that's the last area we're going to be heading in here to, uh, the, uh, ah, the Isle of Songs, we're going to do that one last, and we're just going to go... I believe it's this way where the next one is? I think it's, yeah, like close to the... Uh, it's either near... Yeah, it's either the Thunderhead, it's nearby... Actually, no, it would be the opposite direction, let's see. Uh, yes, it's right there. It's a bit away from the lump... Uh, yeah, it's a bit away from Pumpkin's Landing and the Lumpy Pumpkin, but it's no big deal. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Was well, like I said, we're not going to do that in this episode. Now, normally the way they had this set up is you would need the next item that's in the next temple to do this, but I have actually found a way to trick it so you can get it by just jumping in there. You just have to be really good at angling yourself when you fall. Be very careful. You see that landing right there? I made it. And that's that little target, so what they expected you to do was jump down here and use that item to get up here, but since I am amazing at angling myself now, 
Screw you, Nintendo, and your rules! Heart piece. Yep. I I'm gonna say this right now so I don't bring on the wrath of Nintendo on me. I love you guys, keep making great games, I don't want to die. Wait a minute, three butterflies. Yep, and you all know what that means! After I catch one or two of them... Damn it, okay, six, your phone got in the way. Eh! Get caught in my n- I'll find it away. Anyway. Boing! Another monster claw? Huh. Well, let's see what this one has to say. They say it's possible to summon fairies by drawing three triangles upon certain walls. That's right, that's something I forgot to tell you guys. On the goddess walls, if you draw the Triforce, fairies will appear, which is helpful if you need one. Do I need one? Yes. Although I don't have the means to uh, find a goddess wall since they're not in the sky. Excuse me. But anyway, I think it's now time we head off to the Lumpy Pumpkin and I remove my beacon. Oh, uh, well, well, yeah, I can do that too. There's one thing I need to do now. Now that we have the Goddess's Longsword, we're going to go back to Clean Cut, and I'm going to get 30 swings on that bamboo so I can get that heart piece that he gives you. Obviously, I'm not going to, uh, show... Well, actually, yeah, uh, I won't show you me slashing the bamboo. I'll just cut to the point when I get it. Because I was thinking I'd put it in the mini games mini series as, like, a second part to this, but... Uh, as a second part to the first time we went to Clean Cut, but I don't think that's necessary. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the Lumpy Pumpkin side quest. Yeah, yeah, the Lumpy Pumpkin side quest. I'm going to go to Clean Cut so I can uh, get that heart piece, and I'll show you me receiving the heart piece. But, enough of that. Let's land. And not crash into a pumpkin. I'd like to avoid that. Right, now about this side quest. This part of the side quest you can only do at night. For some reason, his daughter doesn't like to uh, sing at night, and now that we have a harp, he wants us to play it while she sings. So I'm going to take a nap. Because they love pumpkins! This is called the Lumpy Pumpkin Tavern! Pumpkin bed sheets. His daughter's hair is shaped like a pumpkin. The doorways are pumpkins. You think I love them? I hated them with a burning passion when I had to freaking lift them to a shed. Ah, oh, you came. Let me see. What was it I wanted you to do next? Hey, what's that? That strange-looking instrument you have there. Oh yes, you might be su uh, just surprised to hear that Kina's actually. Quite a, uh, quite the singer, Kina's obviously his daughter. It wasn't that long ago that she would sing for our customers, but she had to stop because her partner quit. That was my nunchuck hitting the table. But anyway, think you'd be willing to do a quick duet with Kina? Oh, of course, even though I suck at playing this harp in this particular section. This, I suppose, you could call a minigame, but I'm including it here because it involves part of this side quest. So, I am not going to cut this part of the video for a minigame episode. And I should tell you, every time you do this, if you don't suck horribly at playing a harp, you will get 50 rupees as pay if you play good. Great, that's what I, uh, that's what I want to hear. But make sure you put your heart into it. I won't stand for anything but your best. My best is horrible. You don't want to hear my best. My worst is horrible. Yeah. My best is horrid. My worst is you would want to run out of this place as fast as you could. That just pull your ears right off. Yeah. Customers will start waving their arms as Kina sings her song. So you can just follow them if you need to guide the rhythm so uh, you should be playing. 
Pick a customer whose movements are easy for you to follow and strum with them to stay in the right tempo. Don't worry about the direction of your strumming, just make sure you're playing not too fast or not too slow. And use a nice big sweeping, mo uh, and use nice big sweeping motions to strum. When customers stop moving, it's your chance to freestyle a bit and play however you like. It's about to, uh, it's about playing to the rhythm. Got it? Okay, but I want to be prepared for this. The glo well, the gloves are not coming off. The jacket is coming off. It's better to take off the gloves. Serious business. No. Take off your, take off your Superman gloves. I know the phrase is the gloves are coming off, but it's the jacket that's coming off now. My gloves will help me play, and I'm going to stretch a bit. Now let's do it. Okay. All right then. Hey, Kina. Yes, father. What is it? This kid is going to accompany you while you sing. How about that? Now, how about letting your pops hear that beautiful voice of yours, eh? Of course. Let's do it, kid. You're as old as I am. Okay. I'm probably doing horrible already. It'd be a great song if I didn't really suck at this. Freestyle! Harp solo! I'm sure that was horrid like it usually is. Yup! They hated it, as did I. <sighs> I thought it would be, uh, would sound a lot better when you played, just cause it's, uh, that's such a pretty little instrument you have there. You thought I would play good because I have a pretty instrument? What is wrong with you, Kina? The customers didn't seem impressed either. That's because I stink at playing a harp! If it was an ocarina, I'd be good! <laughs> What in the blue sky was that? Is that your sad little idea of what music is? What? Don't look at me like you think we're not even now. You're crazy! I'm not paying you for that. You're gonna have to try again later. Yeah. You're going... T I guess you could do this, but I don't think it's required that you play well. However... Next, Hockey 6 is going to, uh, do this. Hey, you're saying that you'll play one more time for Kina? I'm in. Well, I'm not in. Hockey 6 is in. He just has to... He was, uh, helping my mom with something, so I'd be in the middle of, uh, playing the harp. But now it's Hockey 6's turn to play the harp! No? You're playing the harp, Hockey 6. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, you're going to be playing the harp because I suck at it, and I remember we talked about this beforehand, that you were going to play the harp. But, 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 I, but, I, 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 I have passed the controllers to Hockey 6, and he will now play the harp. Enjoy Hockey 6's rendition of whatever this song is called. But, but, I'll keep the headset on. Uh, but I don't even know how to play this. Press A and hold the button, then move the remote back and forth. It's easy. And now, go with their hands. You don't have to follow the way they're swinging, you just have to keep up with the beat. If Hockey 6 does worse than me, I'll laugh. Although I did as worse as you could do. If he does great, I will be stunned.
While we're on this subject, why are they dancing like that? Freestyle time. Do whatever you want, Hockey 6. Harp solo! Anyway, as I was saying, while we're on the subject, why are they doing that with their arms anyway? Who dances like that? You're done. Oh, they gave you the same reaction they gave me. Oh my god. And again, she thought it would sound better because, uh, when we played it, because we have a pretty instrument. Which I already explained who thinks that. Oh, the instrument's pretty, that must mean that when he plays it, it'll sound great, even though he's never picked up a harp in his life before. And once again, he's insulting us for playing a bad harp. So I guess both me and Hake 6 suck at playing harps. So we are never going to do that ever again. Even if he gives you 50 rupees for it. Plus, we're probably, uh, plus I bet we can't even get the gratitude crystals, too. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Because I finished this without doing that good ever. Well, is a side quest? Side quest? It's part of the side quest that's unlocked. However, even though he says that you're not even, you are. You just have to do one last thing. And unfortunately that thing is not unlockable to us yet. We need to get Kida a helper. Because she's just picking up these pumpkins alone. And uh, one more thing I will let you guys know. Let's talk to Kina. Now that the pumpkins have been harvested, the field needs to be plowed before we can plant new seeds. If I could only find someone who was good at plowing... I could make innuendo here so easily, but I choose not to. I've got a favor to ask you. You want me to plow something? Nah, probably not. See, there were some pumpkins that I wasn't able to pick, but... Do you think you could help me put those in the storage sheds? Don't worry, I'll pay you for your efforts this time. No! You can actually do the pumpkin thing all over again where you need to carry it to the shed and she'll pay you. Oh, are you always this boring? Yes. When it involves pumpkins, I am boring. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, you can do the five pumpkins on top of each other thing again, making it a legitimate minigame. I am not going to play it and put it in the minigame series, unless one of you comments down here that you want to see it, and at least 20 people give thumbs up to that comment. That will show me that a lot of you want to see me fail at bringing pumpkins into a shed, and I will bite the bullet and do it. But it needs to be exactly 20 people. The rules are people cannot like it more than once, even though I don't think YouTube allows that. It Still, I want to be sure that it only happens once. Oh, and I didn't notice these butterflies over here. So anyway, yeah. Just comment below if you want to see it, and then hope people give that thumbs up. If not, Wait, it ain't happening. I am, but I wanted to catch the butterflies first, Talk A6, but oh well. Let's see what he drops. What is with these things in Monster Claws? I mean, I've seen other stuff besides Monster Claws get dropped. Apparently when you draw the symbol of... Oh. He's telling us that if you draw a rupee on the goddess wall, you get rupees, but I've already showed you that. But anyway, with that done, there are no more side quests that we can actually do right now. Meaning, the only thing for us left to do is go into Thunder... Head near the Isle of Songs, get that treasure chest, excuse me, and then finish this video up at the Isle of Songs. So I'll see you guys in Thunderhead. And we're back! Now, over there you will see the beacon that I already placed. Oh, and you probably noticed when I opened the map that now that we've entered Thunderhead for the first time, we can actually see what's inside. And now that we're actually in the Thunderhead... We can see more. Uh, we can actually see this more clearly. I th I'm pretty sure there's only one Goddess Cube treasure chest on that island because I don't see where there could be any more on it. 
But hey, I could be wrong. It's happened before. As of right now, there's only one there, of course, but there might Why are you be. Going up? It's down. No, it's directly there. It's down. No, it's in that window right there. Over a hundred percent, if that actually, yeah, that is possible. Hockey six. I am one billion percent sure that this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I'll let you see that. And I will laugh in your face when it is proven that I am right. Ah, right. uh, and there goes some seeds I could have taken. Yes, I remember now. The reason that this is here is that there's a treasure chest up there too. So not only is there a goddess cube treasure chest here, but there is a blue treasure chest here that I think has... Is it... Oh yeah, it was a random treasure treasure chest, and we got an evil crystal. Even though I got every one that I needed, now I have an extra one. Yay! Alright, ow. It should be obvious what you have to do. I mean, why else would they put these vines here if they, were meant to, if they weren't meant to be climbed? Hopefully I make it without too much... And... Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha! In your face, Hawk A6. It's a goddess cube treasure chest! You've seen them before! Uh, there was also an island on the bottom of it, too. No, there wasn't. There was. I'm going to jump all the way down there without getting the bird and show you that when I do that, I will get nothing more than cloud. See? There was a beacon down there, but that's because we placed it in Thunderhead. It's a little shaken in here, so you can't really trust them all that well. Actually, watch. I'll place the beacon again. I don't know why my vision was red there. What? Are you seeing hell? No, I'm, I'm seeing blood over my face, like if I were playing Goldeneye. Okay, now, look. I'm going to keep falling like this. There's our beacon. You're seeing things, trust me. And Hockey Six, just trust me, you're seeing things. I thought I did. I'm not. I know you did, and like I'm saying, you're seeing things. I'm not making it up. I know you're not. I'm not saying you are. Damn it, Hockey 6, what I'm saying is you were seeing things. There is no island down here. And I am probably going to die in a few moments because I keep falling. Wait, see? Up oh, and there's the beacon. The very bottom of the beacon. Which means I'm going to have to fly really, really high. So that I can get back onto the Isle of Songs. Yeah, like I, I said, in here it kind of gets a little distorted. So when you're in Thunderhead trying to find a Goddess Cube treasure chest after placing your beacon, just, uh... Ah, flying centipede. And now it's a dead flying centipede. Anyways, I was saying, when you're placing your beacons here in Thunderhead, look around the entire area where you have the beacon because you can't trust it entirely. Alright. And now for our newest song. Again with the skip button. I don't know why it's giving me that skip button. It shouldn't. Skip is only supposed to be available in hero mode, and I know I'm not in it. Well, whatever. Master Yurameshi, I have important information. When you struck the crest with the skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. Yup. 
He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. Two sacred flames remain. Should you desire to possess them, you must obtain the other sacred gifts. I'm going to tell you guys right now, she's essentially saying the exact same thing she said the first time we're here. The only thing that honestly changed was the wording a little bit and the number of sacred flames we need. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Harness the power of these gifts, and let there be no doubt you shall find yourself standing before the majesty of the sacred flames. Now I give you another melody. It will serve as a key to unlock your next trial which awaits you within the shifting sands of the Laneru Desert. Yeah, well, he knows how to play a harp. I don't. <laughs> I'd be so much better with an ocarina. The only harp I could play is the, uh, the I think it was called the Harp of Time in the Oracle of Time. But yeah, that's the only harp I can play because they do it for you. <laughs> the song you just heard is called Nairu's Wisdom. Use this song of knowledge to find the next trial. I have memorized Nairu's wisdom for you. You can now use Dowsing to locate the next gate to the next trial. You should set a course for Laneru Desert immediately. And with that, I think we're going to end this video here. So in the next episode, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we will be heading to the uh, Laneru region. See you guys then.